very good morning to all the students yes beta this is the last chapter of uh, term 1 which we are going to revise we have done all the chapters but this is the revision only fine and uh, this chapter is also included in revision test 2 second book is included okay now where is it clear now so uh, footprints without feet i have already told you this is the name of the book also and this is one of the chapters also and they kept this chapter as name of the book it means quite important chapter the highlight of all the chapters you can say uh, actually this is a novel i already told you and it was in syllabus also for class plus 2 and now later on it is not there but it is one of the chapters in class 10th only clear so characters characters are first and foremost character protagonist the main character is griffin he is a scientist by profession he keeps on discovering one or the other things and recently he has invented a formula to become invisible in which human body becomes transparent not with clothes but without clothes obviously he does not know how to you know uh, make the clothing invisible so human body can be transparent and invisible so he is the inventor of that formula then we have mrs hall she is the owner of the inn when griffin will be shifting to another place he finds a secluded uh, inn not a hotel or a restaurant and all uh, or you can say inn is a you can say place where people reside and he went over there so that he can go on with his experimentation and nobody disturbs him then we have jeffers constable who has important role to play in this chapter apart from this other characters are there but these are the main characters mentioned in your chapter only fine in the novel there are n number of characters which we discussed earlier fine uh, rather uh, concentrating on all the other characters we will be concentrating on the characters which are in the chapter fine is it clear all the characters are clear to you now what is the story line or theme of the story value points will be the you can say summarization of all the chapter find the whole complete chapter theme is like that when a person who is intelligent enough and is not able to uh, you know channelize his intelligence in a right direction then he can degenerate into anything fine if you are intelligent but you know how to utilize your intelligence only then there is fun of being intelligent but if you do not know you will be degenerated into uh, inhuman kind of traits will be there in you so he is a lawless person though he is very intelligent but he does not abide by the laws does not follow law laws and he becomes uh, he involves himself into harming others just for the benefit of himself so this is over ambitiousness what is ambitiousness if a person wants to attain uh, something or uh, wants to achieve a particular level we say that person is very ambitious that he can do any effort to reach that point of success but some people are over ambitious you know the remember the trait of fire in robert frost poem ice and fire so that is represented by griffin here that he is obsessed with achieving clear beta bus theek hai so uh, we'll be reading that this message uh, this lesson gives us a message that misuse of science and its discoveries can make even a brilliant scientist like griffin a monster so if you have knowledge but you do not know how to use that knowledge even an angel can become a devil fine and a very intelligent persona can be degenerated fine so this is how to use your knowledge so let's start with the value points first of all in the beginning i'll be just writing few words only so that you remember the story line muddy imprints in the beginning of the story there were muddy imprints story starts when two boys they notice they were uh, highly surprised they start seeing that there are muddy impressions on the steps of a house in london fine you should know that which place beginning of muddy imprints in london only so bracket me likh lo london clear so they were quite shocked they were uh, seeing the fresh footmarks of a barefooted man and boys started following the footprints also 
clear and then slowly and steadily you know after a, a while those muddy prints grew fainter and fainter and suddenly there was no sign of them so that was the amazing thing for those two boys who i witnessed first time something like this fine so chapter starts there then after that mystery of footmarks next point is mystery of footmarks uh, the mystery of footmarks was quite simple boys were following a scientist and what is the mystery uh mystery was that he had discovered or invented a formula and only he was aware about this but slowly and steadily people who will be eye witnessing such queer incident such strange incident they will also get to know fine then next is his formula does not work he becomes unseen when naked so this formula makes him invisible when he is naked so that is the drawback of this formula it does not make objects invisible it does make human body because it was quite chilly weather over there in london and he had to remain uh, naked to become invisible and it was very difficult if he will be wearing clothing even then people will be able to find that something is missing face is not there fine so that was the drawback of this formula then uh, when he becomes invisible he reaches to a big london store in a big london store he sneaks into a store he thought of uh, stealing the things fine so air was bitterly cold griffin was naked instead of walking about the streets he entered a london store for warmth and he wanted to enjoy the pleasure of clothing and eatables he was hungry also so he fitted himself out with warm clothes over there he became fully dressed up with shoes overcoat and a hat and after putting on clothes he became visible obviously clothes are visible and he slept on a pile of quilts that night everybody was gone so he could get a chance to warm himself he did not wake up until the assistants arrived next morning and when assistants entered he grew panicky he got scared and he began to run but he could become invisible only when he removed his clothes so now people of london they got to know that there is a man who can become invisible so just to save himself from the assistants over there in the london store he starts removing his clothing and finally disappears clear then after that in brury lane next point is where he goes d r u d r y in brury lane he hurried to drury lane the center of the theater world so drury lane is known for it is the center of theater world as you know that in theater what do we do theater is related to acting only and in acting we we need masks we need mustache we need beard and wigs everything is available when you go when you participate in any competition you go to such shops only where all theatrical uh, items are available so he runs to drury lane which is the center of theater world and he found a shop he was searching for he came upstairs invisible and he came out of the shop wearing bandages round his forehead so you should be clear in london store he did not get that appearance fine in london store he just got clothing and food to warm himself fine so in drury lane what did he get he found a shop and he entered and he came out of the shop wearing bandages round his forehead dark colored glasses false nose side whiskers and a large hat then he attacked the shopkeeper and robbed him of all the money he could find so this is the first attempt of robbery by griffin by attacking someone he was stealing in the london store also 
but he could not keep the things because he wanted to become invisible. But in theatrical world, when he entered in Drury Lane, he attacked the shopkeeper, took all his money and changed his attire and ran away. Clear? The answer is Sunru, beta. Can I Sunru? No response is not coming to me. Then arrival in Iping village. Write down after the Drury Lane, after changing his clothing. Arrival. In Iping, I P I N G. Why did he find Iping village? Because most of the people were not living there. Population was not uh, that people were uh, village area people. They never, uh, you know, interfere into your personal lives in that way. So our arrival in Iping village, Griffin wanted to get away from the crowded place like London. in crowd he there are chances more people he will be meeting more chances of their his identity will be revealed so he came to the village i think he booked two rooms in a local inn it was not that international level or national level in that people uh, know it was just a local inn arrival of a stranger at such with such a strange appearance and in during the time when nobody goes to visit the places fine so mrs hall was the owner of that inn and she became happy on seeing this because she wanted to earn money obviously she thought okay a guest in the house and i will be earning money she treated him very nicely very friendly and so that she tried to make him comfortable though he was very strange by seeing him only one can see that there is something different about this man but even then mrs hall you know welcomed him happily and on his arrival he told mrs hall that he is here to do some work and he does not like to be disturbed by others usko disturb na kiya jaye last point dekhna beta last point is arrival in iping village i p i n g so he wanted to be alone and then she realizes something that this man is eccentric eccentric means person with strange behavior fine and she didn't mind his strange habits and griffin gave obviously cash and she was happy okay that she got it soon a cash was finished and he told a lie to mrs hall that soon a check is expected jaise uska check aayega he will pay to her fine then after that what happens actually reality was that he was running out of money he did not have much money now i'm going to write here next point so clergy man one more character is there clergy man burgled burgled means uske ghar pe chori ki gayi clergyman is one of the character so uh, he wanted to give check to mrs hall so that a strange episode occurred a clergyman and his wife they were sleeping in their house and suddenly they heard some strange noises fine and they got wake up and went towards the study of their house and they came downstairs they heard the chink of money being taken from the desk they heard clear loud noises of money being taken out of the place and clergyman immediately opened the door and he said surrender but the moment he entered the door he could see no one obviously because he had become invisible dosto koi dikha nahi par clergyman ko sari awaze aa rahi thi he was surprised the room was empty awaze aayi hain but room is empty so he was so shocked that what sort of burglary or chori jisko kehte hain it is so they looked under the desk behind the curtains even they looked into the chimney of their house ki kahan pe kaun chhup gaya but no one was there they found the desk open money was missing they were highly surprised they could not understand what happened fine so clergyman's house was burgled who did it griffin yes next is mrs hall's furniture shows a strange behavior then you can say incident of furniture likh lo chahe aap incident of furniture that's why you'll remember that when he came back furniture was uh, 
Mrs. Hall and Mr. Hall, they've got an opportunity to have a look into a house, a room of Griffin. They were curious ki karta ke andar, bahari nahi aata. So they entered and they were shocked to see the false nose and everything, the attire, the theatrical objects all were lying on the bed. Landlord and his wife woke up and then they found all of a sudden Mrs. Hall heard a sniff close to her ear. Or tab tak wo invisible scientist enter kar jata hai. So he says something near the ear of that lady. He got so irritated. I told you he was eccentric. Kuch bhi kar sakte eccentric log. To usko gussa a jata hai ki why this husband and wife are sneaking into my room and breaking my privacy. So he, uh, what happens? Uh, then a hat leapt up and dashed itself into the face of Mrs. Hall. Mrs. Hall ke face pe pehle hat fangt hai. The chair pushed both of them out of the room. Then he picked up the chair and pushed both husband and wife, landlord and uh, his wife out of the room and locked the room. Mrs. Hall almost fell down the stairs. She starts crying that what is she has eyewitnessed. That chair is, and she started associating it with something supernatural. That maybe uh, his mother's spirit and all. So she was sure that the room was haunted by spirits. She did not, you know, think that that man is invisible. Asa koi soche gai nahi. She thought my room is haunted and spirits have entered. And by the time clergyman also came, he told that this is this has happened. So everything started matching that something is going on and which is very strange. And at the arrival of this man only, after that, this th these things have happened. So next is invisible man shows himself. Invisible man shows himself or becomes visible. Mrs. Hall went to Griffin's room. He was there. She asked what he is doing to the chairs. He also asked how he entered the locked room. Scientist lost his temper. He became furious and cried, I'll show you. And suddenly he threw away all the bandages, whiskers, spectacles, even nose. And the horrified men in the bar were staring at a headless man. There was a bar also na, in the inn. People were sitting and drinking and they every that incident happened and everybody was amazed. He was so furious and over uh, anger is also dangerous. So he started removing clothing and everybody got to know that he is the man who has committed thievery and he is invisible. So last point is encounter with Constable Jeffers. Encounter means meeting. Encounter with Constable Jeffers. Fine. The police constable who had been informed, already people informed him, he arrived. He was totally surprised to find that he was to arrest a man who is not visible. Pella case house ke So he was very surprised. Fine. There followed a wonderful scene. Scientists started throwing his clothes one by one. Fine. He was becoming more and more invisible as he threw off one of the garment and then the another, then the another. Finally, the uh, man became invisible. Some people who tried to hold him, they were beaten up by that unseen fists. They were getting punches on their noses, slaps on their faces. So he was hitting everyone when he became invisible. In the end, Jeffers was knocked unconscious. Constable Jeffers who came over there, he was knocked down by invisible man. And nervous and excited people were crying. Hold him. Griffin was invisible and free now. No one knew where to lay hands on him. And chapter ends there. So he was not caught by anyone. Clear? Let's uh, do the MCQs now. Do we have time? Five to ten minutes? Five minutes? It's okay. Yes, beta. First of all, first question is, author of Footprints Without Feet is H.G. Wells, okay? So you should know all the names of authors and poets. I always say you, H.G. Uh, Wells, 
the two boys started in surprise at the fresh muddy imprints yes online children can also raise hand yes vivan i am able to see your movement from you also okay so behave two boys started in surprise at the fresh muddy imprints of a pair of feet bare feet shoes tires bare feet okay he was leaving his imprints in paris england london canada what is the meaning of bewildered perplexed confused puzzled all of the above pehle soch to lo beta what is the meaning of bewildered perplexed confused puzzled all of the above all of the above is the answer bewildered means confusion perplexed puzzled all are correct these are the synonyms of bewildered who were the boys following scientist dog rat none of the above boys were following the scientist beta fine agar footprints likha ho to aur scientist bhi likha ho to then footprints is the correct answer okay you should know क्यों सम मूवमेंट वॉज देयर ना नन की ऑप्शन नहीं है नन ऑफ दी अबव ऑप्शन है ये है ठीक है नन ऑफ दी अबव मीन दीज ऑप्शन आर नॉट एप्लीकेबल वॉट वॉज ही वर्किंग ऑन मेकिंग फेक फुटप्रिंट्स मेकिंग ह्यूमन बॉडीज इन विजिबल मेकिंग अ फूल ऑफ चिल्ड्रेन ऑल ऑफ दी अबव Yes, making human bodies invisible is the correct answer. Brilliant scientist though he was, Griffin was rather a dash person, lawful, lawless, good, rude, lawless. What did he do for revenge? Burned himself, burned the landlord, burned the house. He did not do anything for revenge. Yes, correct answer. He burned the house. griffin's body became as transparent as ice glass air none of the above yeah. glass is mentioned beta glass what suggests that he was a homeless wanderer no clothes no money invisible all of the above Homeless wanderer. No money is the correct answer, beta. Close to इसलिए नहीं डाले because he wants to be invisible. Homeless wanderer. पैसे नहीं है तभी homeless है. Why was it a bad time to wander in London? It was mid winter. He was without clothes. Both one and two. None of the above. both one and two is correct where did he find comfort in london at the inn at a big store at a theatrical store none of the above a big store in london fine where did he go next after the london store at the inn at a big store again at a theatrical store none of the above yes theater store what did he take from there food wine bandages all of the above navya theatrical room jo tha store tha wahan se kya liya bandages food and wine to he had from london store how did griffin finally escape by hitting them by taking off all his clothes by running away as fast as he could by hiding by taking off all his clothes fine where did he go next after theatrical store i ping is the answer what was an unusual event a guest at the inn during winters a guest at the inn during summers a guest at the inn during spring nothing was unusual 
करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर वॉट यू मीन बाय द वर्ड एक्सेंट्रिक अनकॉमन पहले सुन ले आई एम गिविंग यू ऑप्शन और नॉट एक्स्ट्रा कैची स्टोपेड नन ऑफ दी अबव नन ऑफ दी अबव इज दंसर हेयर एक्सेंट्रिक इज नॉट स्टूपेड a person with strange behavior is eccentric uncommon i said extra catchy stupid uncommon eccentric a person with strange behavior is eccentric extra is something else why does mrs hall find the scientist eccentric he visited during off season his intention was only to work he looked weird all of the above sure he okay he visited during off season his intention was only to work he looked weird all of the above yeah he looked weird that was the main reason fine all of the above can be considered but the most accurate is he looked very weird kaam to kayon ne karna hota hai yes saksha let me check the answer wait agar hum dekh lete hain uh, why does mrs hall find scientist eccentric 20th 20th, 20th. All of the above they have considered. D, तो आपने सारे ही लेने हैं विजिटेड ड्यूरिंग दी ऑफ सीजन इंटेंशन वॉज ओनली टू वर्क यू लुक डू इट ऑल ऑफ दी अब वाई वॉज मिसिज हॉल प्रपियर्ड एंड रेडी टू टॉलरेट स्ट्रेंज हैबिट्स एंड इरिटेबल टेम्पर ऑप्शन वन ही हैड पेड इन एडवांस Option B, he was a scientist. Option C, both one and two. Option D, none of the above. Only and only option A. He had paid in advance. Fine. What does first encounter tell us about Mrs. Hall? She is not friendly. She is money minded. She is just interested in her guests. All of the above. Yes, she is money minded. That's why. What is being referred to as strange incident that happened in the study? Griffin stealing money while being invisible. Griffin arriving at the end during off season. Griffin pretending to be waiting for a check. None. Stealing money. Becoming invisible. Study की बात करी उन्होंने क्योंकि बेटा बेल हो चुकी है